Hello guys and welcome to a brand new adventure. Today we are at the Ram Kamhang Night Market in Bangkapi district of Bangkok. Bangkapi is a very diverse district in Bangkok and you'll see Thai people of all different kind of backgrounds, all different kinds of religions. There's a lot of halal Muslim food in this market as well. It felt really nice to be the only foreigner in a Bangkok night market for a change. This place was 99% local and I felt like the only foreigner there. So here's a pro tip for you. If you're in any kind of Thai night market, you don't have to fill up on any one or two dishes. Make sure you try everything in little amounts. That's the whole point of a night market. You try little snacks and little foods here and there in small quantities. You can have a whole spread of things. We're gonna try so many foods today. There's so much to choose from. I really don't know what else, what else to get. There's too many choices. I got a bunch of stuff. I got a chicken, chicken wrap. But I will probably move around and, and get more things and post on the video. Snails and worms and cockroaches are a very common form of protein snacks in Thailand, so don't be shocked. When I'm in Canada, I pay so much for just simple sushi. Here at the night market, you can get cheap sushi that tastes way better. If you haven't tried Thai somtam salad, you have to. It's one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. Now guys, a word of caution. If you are in one of these night markets, make sure you have your personal valuable belongings safely tucked away. There's a lot of pickpockets in these places, trust me. And you'll be surprised how easy it is to lose your valuables. The great thing about this market is, it's all local. So you get the original, authentic local Thai experience. None of that touristy stuff. And you know how the saying goes, you only live once. So this night market will give you the chance to try anything and everything once. I bet you, you will not regret it. Make sure you wear something comfortable in terms of shoes because there's going to be a lot of walking in these night markets. So make sure you have something comfy on, nothing too fancy, something that's comfortable on the heels. So you're able to walk around comfortably without any worries. No matter where you are in the world, any meat on a stick is always a good thing. The market is so huge, you can spend weeks on end exploring this place. And the best part about this market is everything is homemade, everything is genuine, traditional, local. And that original, authentic taste gets lost when you dine at these big fancy restaurants or hotels. So the best place to actually taste and really savor the taste of a nation or a culture would be to go to one of these night markets and really head on experience the flavors. Anyway, enough of me yapping, let's eat. This is a nice, spicy, sauce glazed chicken skewer. And this was the most delicious chicken tendon fried chicken I've ever had. Better than KFC. I don't really have a sweet tooth. I'm not too much into desserts, but this particular Thai dessert is coconut pancakes with all different kinds of fillings. You have to try. This is Thailand's version of Muslim halal chicken biryani, which was very delicious. And if you're into seafood, then you'll have crabs and shrimps and lobsters, all kinds of things available. Have you ever tried spicy Korean chicken wings? Comment below and let me know. The chicken shawarma looked really yummy, so I decided to buy one and uh, have it a go. I also got some soy sauce chicken, nicely marinated, very juicy, and I couldn't wait to eat it. Very nice. 
So the night market isn't just all about food. There's a whole section of retail items such as clothes, accessories, shoes, perfumes, handbags, you name it. Anything you want on the go at cheap prices, you will get here. In fact, I ended up buying a nice t-shirt for myself and I also got a pair of jeans and some sunglasses. All of these three things cost me less than $10. But try not to be gullible. You should know that in Thailand, like any other Asian country, when they look at a foreigner, they'll quote you the foreigner price. Not the local price, the foreigner price. That means it's going to be obviously more than what they're usually selling it for. So try to haggle. Do not be shy to haggle. Remember, these guys are professionals. They do this all day. It's your right. You're entitled to haggling. Get the best price that suits you and then go for it. Now, as a foreigner, I would suggest that if you're thirsty, try to avoid drinking water in the open night markets like this. Try to have bottled water or coconut water or something that is fresh, like fresh juices. Otherwise, you'll have a loose stomach and you'll be locked in your bathroom for days on end. I decided to walk through the food section of the night market one more time just in case something caught my eye. And as I was walking through, I saw this huge stall full of juicy watermelons and I just could not resist. I decided to have some watermelon cut so I can sit somewhere nice and just enjoy the nice cool juiciness of a Thai watermelon. You have to try watermelons in Thailand. Honestly, it's one of the best things ever. There's limited seating areas in this night market, but I saw some local Thai people climbing the fence over to the other side, and that's what I did as well. Finally found a place to sit and enjoy this delicious watermelon. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please do subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.